In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to tint your windows using only things purchased from Walmart. Hey guys, my name is Patrick. I'm a full-time window tinter, instructor, and consultant. If you're looking to do your own window tint and you want to give it a shot, this video is for you. This video is going to be more for people that like have trucks or SUVs or maybe just trying to tint the front doors. I'm going to head over to Walmart and I'm going to show you guys all the materials that you would need and then maybe a couple extra materials, a couple extra tools that I think might be beneficial for the installation. All right guys, so we're in a normal super Walmart and I'm in the automotive section. Some things to look for, these 5%, 20%, 2.5%. VLT means visible light transmission. Basically determines on how dark window tint is. I mean, if you guys are trying to match up with like an SUV from like a, opa, from the factory tint, um, then you want 20%. 5% is limo and 2.5 is like way darker than limo, twice as dark as limo. So like that's extremely, extremely dark. And then we're gonna pick up this installation kit right here. This isn't the greatest kit, but it has a knife in here that you're gonna need. And the most important thing is this, this black squeegee that's in here. I don't think you can find a similar squeegee. You're gonna need that for installation. Found some microfiber towels. This is an eight pack. They're pretty good quality, but you're really looking for something that's not gonna like, like flare out and like the little fibers are gonna come off. So I think this is gonna be good. This is gonna help because this kit only has like one tiny little like paper towel and you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need something else a little bit more. We're in the school supply section. Next thing I need, I need a silver Sharpie. This one's really good just because this is gonna show up on black. I'm gonna show you guys how to use a Sharpie to make the installation a little bit better, a little bit easier and hopefully not mess up the installation. In the paint section, I did find razor blades. Looks like it comes with a mini razor blade, a pack of five pack of blades with a holder right here. I think this is the best route to go. Back in the automotive department, I did see this Bondo spreader. All right, y'all, we are back from Walmart. I'm just gonna go over what we got from Walmart and then um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the installation. First thing is the window tint. This is, I believe, this is two feet. So 24 inches. 24 inches is gonna be big enough to cover all SUVs, front windows, things of that nature. We also got the installation kit, tint film application kit, just bare bones, just for these two, you're looking at 20 bucks. Picked up a couple extra additional items, just things that I think that might help the installation. Some Sharpies, one inch razor blades. These are gonna be for cleaning the windows. This Bondo card set, some extra microfiber towels. I picked up a eight pack, super soft detailing towels. I got these more mainly because there's not gonna be fuzzies. They're gonna like, fall off they don't look it looks good you're probably gonna use maybe two or three of these but eight pack good to go all in all with all the things that we bought from walmart out the door we were at 39 dollars 86 if you just went with these two you're going to be at 20 but i think the additional tools will help you with the installation getting a better cleaner installation that's what we got and now next step is i'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the film the tint um just because we only have six feet to use Maybe what I'll do is I'll just, I'll pre-cut it now. So just be careful. This is how the tint is gonna be. It's raw, it's not a, It's not wrapped in anything. Go ahead and peel off this tab from the red tab, pulling this way. If there is a little bit of residue left on the tint, don't worry about it. If it's done correctly, then this should be the liner side. For those of you guys that never touched or dealt with window tint, window tint is, there is a safety liner or, or a liner on the adhesive side that you're gonna have to remove before you do installing the installation and if you guys don't know or you guys are trying to figure out which side is which just take the film and fold it on itself if it slides that is liner to liner and if it sticks that's film to film the reason why i'm doing this with the measuring tape is because we only have six and a half feet um, we only have one shot uh, of these windows so we want to make sure we can do it right what i don't want you to do is put it on the car and then you cut it too short and it doesn't fit the window and then you now you got to go back and get more tint three feet three inches i'll roll the rest of the film out and just kind of lay it out be careful when you're handling window film it is very delicate all right we got the film ready we got the sprayer ready uh, i'm only going to be using these tools here I think we're ready to go ahead and, uh, and start our installation. First thing you wanna do is you wanna try to be inside of maybe a garage, some sort of enclosure. First step, if, you're, if your mirror can break away, go ahead and push it out of the way. It's just gonna make your job just a little bit easier. We're just gonna go ahead and give the window a good once over. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a really good wipe down. You wanna get 
the outside area as well. And just like that, that's the first microfiber towel. So <laughs> see how quickly this is gonna get, uh, the, that little towel wouldn't really help very much. The next step is that we're gonna go ahead and clean the inside. All right, now we have our spray solution. I have my new towel and you want the car on, obviously, cause we're gonna have to work the window up and down. So the auxiliary needs to be on. First thing is I'm gonna give the dash, I mean the, the panel a good wipe down we are going to be working in this area and it could bring contamination into your installation you can also roll the window down and then go ahead and give the inside a, a, just a quick little once over and i have the one inch razor blade this one did come with a with a, a handle but if it's just the one inch razor blades it's just it's the same i want to roll the window all the way up not all the way just about right there and go ahead and spray it down we're going to do an initial cleaning right now and then we're going to do uh, like a this is going to be a good good once over cleaning this is just going to get all the major debris and dirt, dirt off and we're just going to go ahead and uh, do another clean squeegee before we install so take the one inch razor and you're going to follow the top edge go down the sides right down the middle and you want to go in in uh, overlapping patterns so you get every bit of this window and that's pretty much it for that you can put that away and give it another wipe down here again the window film is actually going to lay on here on the bottom portion here so you want to make sure that this is all clean next step is we're going to go ahead and get the film on and start shaping the film cutting the film just be gentle when you're handling the film again it's very delicate and don't forget you want to have the liner side out and this is the liner side and we want the liner side on the outside spray down the glass and we're going to go ahead and put the window tint right on the car just like this and make sure that we're covering all sides that's pretty good right there and what we're going to do next all the sides are covered we're going to take our spray bottle spray it down take the squeegee that came with our kit tack this down that way this film isn't going to move on us when we're working with it then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to try to dry it off a little bit um, because we're going to get a squeegee we're going to get a sharpie out here next and if it's wet it tends to try not to to mark so that film shouldn't move also again just a reminder as well before we do this step make sure the window is all the way up i know it's all the way up but i just want to cover that step because it might be slightly down a little bit from the the cleaning process and we don't want that if not the film will not fit next step we're going to be going ahead and using a sharpie this is going to help us ensure that we have pretty much a, a solid fit a, a perfect fit without risking any damage to the vehicle to the film or yourself the silver sharpie here and you can write on this it's going to be fine because again the liners on the outside we're going to remove the liner so these markings won't be here so we're just going to mark the bottom and the sides just push it here and what you want to do is you want to you want to have the window film right up against it and you're just going right to the edge right where the film is butting up right against the rubber of the frame Boom. Next step is we're gonna go ahead and roll down the window and we're gonna sharpie the top edge here so we can get a clean, a clean top edge. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut using the sharpie line as a line of reference. Open the door, wanna lift it up so it's, so it's away from the body so it, doesn't, so it doesn't stick or else when you roll the window down, it'll, it'll stick and it'll crunch the film. So make sure you lift up the bottom. And you want to roll it down until you can see the top edge about an inch or two just like that so you got a couple inches down and then what you can do is you can take your squeegee again and just squeegee down that film and tack it down so it doesn't move next we're going to take our sharpie and we're just going to follow the top edge of the window of the window so i'm just lining up sharpie right along the top edge so now i know i can cut that top edge and just follow that line. All right, next, take the tint off. You can go ahead and roll the window up. And then now you have the outline of the door. I know when I was running my Sharpie, cause I was running my Sharpie along the edge, that the bottom of this is the line that I wanna follow. And the top edge or the exposed edge is the edge that you wanna take your time on. You wanna make sure that that line is nice and smooth and crisp all the way across. You don't wanna mess it up. Now we are gonna use the knife. So you wanna go ahead and pull it out 
and you want about three blade lengths. And then that way we're just gonna use the edge of the knife the tip right here, keep the pen, the, the back end down. We don't want a short amount of blade and then a lot of pressure because you could score the glass. I'm gonna go ahead and follow this all the way across. And again, you wanna take your time on this, especially the top edge because the top edge is gonna be the one that's gonna be exposed. So when you roll the window down, you are gonna see this. The glass will only allow me to go so far. So I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off. I'm gonna go ahead and tear apart what I don't need. From here, you always wanna tear away, away from your workspace, just like that. And if you need to, I would re-break a, re a blade so you could take the bottom of the knife and there's a little slit right there and just put one blade out and then just slide the blade in there and you can go ahead and just break that blade off. Just make sure to do it away from your face. So now the top edge is cut. These lines on the edges, what we want to do is we pretty much cut the window exact, but we need the film to be slightly bigger than the actual frame of the window so that we can hide the edge of the film behind the plastic of the door. So these lines are pretty much exact. I'm going to go just about an eighth of an inch outside here. That way I know I'm a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and finish this side. All right, so I got all, all four sides cut, done. Um, we're, 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 we're almost close, we're almost done here. At this point, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and roll the window down just a little bit. So you got about two fingers up there. I think about that's gonna be about good space right there. From here, spray the outside glass again, and we're gonna go ahead and put the film on the glass with this edge slightly to the to forward and then this side is going to be overlapping just a little bit go ahead and do another squeegee so we're going to go ahead and spray it down i'm going to take my squeegee i'm going to wipe it and i'm going to go ahead and start squeegeeing from the top down squeegee wipe that way your squeegee is clean and you can go across too just like that and all the way to the bottom squeegee's ready what we're going to do is we're going to wet the glass and get it ready for installation. Be generous with the spray, not just a little mist, drippies, it's okay. You can take a towel and dry this off afterwards. Go ahead and spray the outside, and this is gonna help keep static clean down. And what you wanna do is you can start peeling it. You can just take your thumbnail or your fingernail and kind of scratch at it to try to get that liner off. See, I got it right there. If you guys really need to, if you guys are having some trouble, you can peel it up and then pick it between your teeth. And then that's a way that you can get the liner going as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna peel it, carefully peel the liner down. And you wanna peel it to about two inches from the bottom and then spray down. Next, you don't wanna to touch the tint itself. So you can just take your thumbnail and go against, push against it and you can get underneath the tint. Go ahead and open the door. Wet it again if I need to, always helps. I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. I'm gonna put the film on the back end here and start getting it into position. Watch this right here. You don't wanna crunch the film right there, so kind of bend it in like that so that when you slide it back, it doesn't crunch. You wanna be about an eighth of an inch, or, or probably I'd say an eighth of an inch is good. And if you want to, you can come back here just to double check to make sure that the film is actually behind the pillar and the, you can't see the edge of the film right here. If you need to, slide it back a little bit. Go ahead and spray the film. Take the squeegee from the kit and you can hold it with one hand as you squeegee so it doesn't move. This is gonna tack the film down. From here, I just do like the top four or five inches or whatever and then you're pretty much good at that point. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the film up just a little bit, roll the window all the way up. From here, what I like to do is because sometimes you get dirt and debris here, give it a little spray, take your squeegee, don't touch the film, and just give it a quick pass. Spray it again, and you can go try to get underneath here and spray the tent as well. And you wanna pull the liner all the way off this time. So, and if you need to, you can hold the film as you're pulling the liner off. Now from here, what I like to do, I like to hold on to the film this way and tuck in this corner first, just like that. And then I'll tuck in the other corner 
And then in the center, you just want to lift it up just a little bit, just a hair. That way you can feed that film down and you want to get it right behind the sweep. That's the most important thing, right behind the sweep. Spray the film down and you kind of want to just go, I like to go straight down just like this. You want to be going in overlapping patterns and I'm trying to just spread it out as, spread it out evenly as I'm going across. That way, um, you spread out the film so that it doesn't produce what's called fingers. I don't know if this Bondo card would work for actually squeegeeing because we don't want to scratch the film, but it does work to get just behind that windowsill and a little bit better than the squeegee. So you can get you can get it and you kind of push into the into the windowsill and squeegee it out. Just like that. And then you can take a card and this is actually a pretty decent card for hard carding like this and just kind of spread it out this way at the bottom as well. From here, go ahead and wipe everything down. And there you go, wipe the window down, put the window mirror back in if you need to. And that's it. Actually, a film looks actually really good. <laughs> After you install this, leave the windows up for about three to five days. Don't, don't roll the windows down, don't clean them, don't do anything while the film is curing out. And you can take this Bondo card. This Bondo card actually was pretty good. Uh, one thing that I didn't do is before I rolled it all the way up, you can take your Bondo card and come up with it just like this. That way you squeegee past the edge. This Bondo card actually works out pretty good. So definitely get this one as well. This is a way that you guys can tint your own vehicles, two fronts, most trucks, SUVs, things of that nature. Final thoughts. Again, I totally forgot to mention a couple things. I believe with the way that I did it, there's enough spray in that spray bottle to be able to finish both sides. Definitely the microfiber towels definitely helped because they were filthy after just that one window. I went through two microfiber towels and they both were like black. The Bondo cards worked out great. Worked out great as a hard card because the kit doesn't come with a hard card. The Sharpie method I think is definitely a plus just because you don't want to damage your car yourself or anything of that nature. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see other DIY tutorials like this, go ahead and comment below. And I guess that's it. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk soon.